Good evening, Mzansi. It's another year. It's another festive season. And we're back with your favorite show, festive get-together in the life artois. It all starts with Stella Artois. My name is Ornite and I'm honored to be your host for this very special episode. Last year, we exalted brotherhood in the music industry and today we celebrate the pioneers, powerful female pioneers in the music industry. Minentle, Zamini Jones and Melanie Bala are here to unpack on how they've achieved these pioneering moments and how they've achieved so much success. Tonight, we unpack, we unwind, and we find out how they spend the special time with their loved ones. Honored to host them, as we say, because it all starts with Estella. Join us. Melanie, that's a, that's a deep question. I think I'm constantly evolving. But I suppose fundamentally, I am a mother, I'm a woman, I'm a yoga teacher, and I'm a broadcaster. Minnie is a television presenter first. I am a television producer. Um, I'm an actress. I am a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister. But creatively, I like to describe myself as a storyteller. I'm about joy and gratitude and abundance and living in the moment. I've always been an ambitious person, but having someone who I am responsible for has really changed my outlook in life. This festive season was all about family. Long lunches around big tables. And so festive season for me was, yeah, special, loved it. Growing up, I spent it with my family and I do the exact same thing right now. Um, I love to entertain, I love to have my family around. We love to cook, we love to get together and laugh. Uh, I'd say my relationship with Minnie and Unaiti, both of them, it's a sisterhood that we have. We are able to talk amongst each other without any judgment. Over the years, it's, it's been my sisters in the industry who've really been there for me. Um, it's their support that's really carried me through and, and I feel like it's a big reason why I've managed to have an 11-year career. I like to be hosted. <laughs> so when I host, I'm very meticulous. The kitchen is not my happy place. No, that's, I'm so not about that life. I try to stop working in, in, in November so that I can spend time with my family in, in December. One of my favorite expressions is saying, be here now. So no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, no matter who you're with, be here now. I think tonight we're a little bit scared. I'm nervous. With Unati in the mix. Yeah. We're going to forget we're on camera. That's the problem. And then... <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. Do you know what's sitting on this couch? Tell me. Minnie says it best. Because she, she does it humbly, but also just to, as a nice reminder. Mm. I know the two ladies we're hosting today. I don't know them personally. I think they're the first two guests I don't know that well. Please tell Alex what is sitting on this couch. Sitting on this couch. Yes. Is the leading ladies yes. of Friday night prime time yes. on SABC One. Yes. Biggest time slot in South Africa. Come on. Every Friday night live. Oh. Started out with Studio Mix. Yeah. Then it was Castle Loud. Yeah. Then it was One. Mm -hmm. And then it was Live. If you look at the time period that those three shows were over, you know, um, it's it's a generation of people who grew up watching mm -hmm. myself or Nati, Mini, um, and I think it's 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 important to take a moment and acknowledge that and to realize that you know what, we're we're icons, we're iconic. There was some iconic sh that we did, um, you know. Um, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know, Mel. You know, I used to watch you as a young man, and I was like. That auntie's hot. They used to have the biggest crush on Mel when I was a kid. So I used to think about you. Let him go. Right? Let him go. And, let I, was, him go. and I was just like, oh my God, hi. <laughs> and then when I heard you coming on the show today, I actually went for a fresh cut. Do I know that Alex has a crush on me? Yes, I do, because he told me just now as I was getting ready. How do you not allow yourself, both of you, as physically, as aesthetic as you are, Alex? <clears throat> 
Why are you... How do you not allow yourselves to be objectified in a way that takes away from your craft? You know, and I always say physical beauty is, it's, it really is, it's like an accident of birth. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not excited about it being a currency, though. No. Um, like, you've got to, you've got to you use gotta it if you've product. got it, yeah. but you've, you've got to take it to another level. Mm. Like, one thing that is very important to understand is that when Mel started on Studio Mix, right, something really magical happened. Her life didn't just change. Her dreams didn't just come true in that moment. But mine did, Unaitis did, and every other girl that has been on that platform. You've co-hosted the biggest shows in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Why such humility when you've achieved just as much as your co-hosts and yet have not expressed the same bravado over the decades that you've been doing this? Yeah. And not necessarily because your co-host has been loud about it. Yeah. But society, that's how society has always yeah. been, to to focus on the one side the as a to... gaze. Really, fundamentally, that's, that's what it is. It's the patriarchal gaze. That anything you do traditionally has been viewed through, especially as a woman, your relationship to a man. Yeah. Are you someone's daughter? Are you someone's wife? Are you someone's co-host? Are you someone's... That's how we've been viewed, right? And I think that's why looking at kind of the roles we've played, it's always been the focus then becomes on the male host, right? And because men natu naturally kind of have that bravado and that energy that they'll yeah. step into it. And I think as women, sometimes we've been lacking to say, actually, yes, I'm the co-host of the show because yeah. it's seen as being arrogant too much, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's my feeling, I think. I was watching a beautiful interview today, actually, with Pharrell and Taraji. Mm. And they were talking about the power of saying no. Ah. Oh. Yes. Is that a thing? Oh, I got to that thing early and maybe prematurely, actually. Um, because when I started out, I was working with Unang, who at the time were two of the biggest stars in the country. Yeah. Yeah. And I just started. Yeah. And, you know, they would get into a space and the moment the camera you rolled and we were live on air, all three of us were equal yeah. for that brief moment. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously when the cameras rolled, like I was the lesser of the two, which is fine. I had a lot of growing and experiencing to do. Yeah. But it was in those moments where I learned that I need to be assertive and I need to stand up for myself and I need to be deliberate about the things that I do. Intention. Intentional. Yeah. And I remember Caesar saying to me, you know, you've made it when you can start saying no. Mm. And That's he says, powerful. right now, yeah. you've still got to say a lot of yeses to get to where you need to be. Yeah. But when it's time to say no, you'll know. When I was 18 in television, it was hard to stand up for yeah. myself because it was a completely different time. Yeah. So I learned so much from everyone who's younger and Minnie as well. When we sit and we're chatting and Minnie's like, no, I'm not going to do that thing. I'm like, damn. You could just say no like that. Okay. <laughs> Literally took a couple of mistakes for me to say, mm, no. And also to learn how to say no without a reason. Not, no, that's, that's what, no, that's what no, Taraji and Pharrell were yeah, talking about. That is such a real No, 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 I can't do it because can... my kids have to... No. 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 Why? I just can't. So can we book a place at the table? Oh, yes, I'd love please. that. Eating time. Oh, my God. You're ready. My favorite time. Let's, Let's go. go. We're ready. Let's go. Yay! <laughs> People started calling me Sis Bonatti when I was 23. <laughs> I was 23. And you're like, whoa, your body changes completely. How do you not allow yourselves to be objectified? I'm not excited about it being a currency. No. Uh, That's what Taraji and Pharrell were yeah, talking about. Yeah. Jono, absolutely no pressure, but you are in the company of three Mega TV superstars. So, uh, what have you prepared for the other two? <laughs> I mean, he got it. He got it. He got it. It's a bit of deja vu there. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. We forgive you. After chatting to Alex, we know that Melanie is. She absolutely loves chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken curry is quite uh, nostalgic for her. So yeah. we're doing beautiful curried sticky chicken. Stunning. With rotis, butter rotis. It smells great. And then for many, many, she, she absolutely adores pork roasts. Yeah. Yeah. So we've done her the yeah. ultimate pork neck roast. Sure. Uh, cooked in glue vine, which is the reduced red wine with aromatics and spices. So very Christmassy. Oh. 
You took it to the top, and what is this, bro? We have sweet pumpkin raviolis, oh. which will serve with classic brown butter, but with cranberries and parmesan cheese. And we're going to garnish it with some pancetta chips. Can we leave you to finish and then yes, get back to our guests? Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. The three of us had to go through different rites of passages mm -hmm. in front of the entire nation. Yep. Getting married, Oof. being mothers. Mm -hmm. We only had three weeks maternity leave with our second born. Yeah. Because we had to be back that's on right. radio doing breakfast. How many weeks maternity leave did I take? Say. This is my point. <laughs> so how many weeks? She took two weeks maternity leave. That is why. I went straight she back to work. As why? soon as I gave birth, I went back to work after two weeks. But that was my question in that, how have you navigated through your relationship with yourself, balancing your self-esteem? Yeah. Because people started calling me Sis Minati and I was 23. Yeah. I was 23. <gasps> and you're like, whoa. And they call her Mrs. Jones. No, 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 Mama. Mama Jones. Mama Jeezy. They try to make it cute. I do appreciate the fact that people do address me differently. People do address me as Sis Minnie or Mama Jones or whatever <laughs> the case is. Even, sometimes even Mrs. Jones. It's sometimes a bit formal, but I don't think it's something that we should push, push away. Back against. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What people don't realize, um, especially after having a kid, right, is that you you start to question everything about yourself as a woman. You start to question what you look like. Your body changes completely, mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this journey for me was, was, was very eye-opening because I got to be in a space where I am embracing this new role and I'm, I'm loving it. And you guys show me all the different things that I can love that I never would have experienced had I not gone into this journey, but also how important it is to, to still do the things that I love. They teach me how to own who I am and, and they give me so much confidence. But I also think as women, we need to, um, we need to be kind to ourselves. Jeez, yes, please. Um, and, and, and that's actually something you always say to me. Just be kind to yourself because I beat myself up. You do. You speak terribly to yourself. I, I, I do, I do. All of us have entered that space where you're still not even sure who you are, not sure of your body, not sure of, of, of where you want to be in this game and in this business. I feel like between the two of them, I, I was in a much better position um, because I got the advice that I don't think they got when they were in that space. Raising multiracial children in South Africa, mm -hmm. I can't imagine what, what that's, that's like. like. Teach me, teach me. Yeah. <laughs> Show me. Show me the way. I do, you know, <laughs> for, for me and for us, it's about the, the beauty and the diversity. Sure. Yeah. Right? And yeah. celebrating the fact that he comes from a multicultural background. Sure. And having done it myself, I always say, I got the best of all worlds. Yeah. I literally did. Like, I would. I you envy you when you're celebrating your new year, and I'm like, why don't you invite me? We have Chinese New Year, yeah. so I'm getting the best, like, on the Chinese side of the family, you're getting the best of the food that side. Yeah. And then the next Sunday, we're at my grand's for Eid. Yeah. You know, right. and we're eating yeah. the most amazing food there. And then you're inviting us to slaughter a cow. And then we're slaughtering a cow. And yeah. it just, it's the beauty <laughs> in the diversity that, that uh, not so only you celebrate, yeah, is it? but I think teaches you a huge amount of understanding and tolerance. It's wow. cultural it's knowledge. Cultural and wow. Wow. Yes. The way but we pass it down. To absolutely. People. I think it's it's the it's the feeling that you create, right? It's everything put together. We just did our our son's um, we call it Imbelego. Explain uh, it. Imbelego is basically um, when you introduce your child to the ancestors. Okay. But more than just to the ancestors, to society. All right. And you say, thank you for this gift um, of life. You know, my child is a Jones, you know? But just as much as he's a Jones, he's, he's my child. That interested me, you know? Yeah. I was like... I wonder how the Joneses are. They how, how they can experience it. Yeah, they were really it. excited about yeah. it. And the same thing with his language. My child does not understand English, right? Mm. <laughs> Even if I'm going to slip up, the people that are with them day in, day out when I'm at work, 
you know, when they play with them, they're playing with them in Zulu. So I, I'm very deliberate about it and I'm very conscious of it. Because he'll learn English in school. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He, and he'll be fluent and he'll speak like this through his nose. Yeah. And be great. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, but, uh, but also, Mark. Yeah. Why do you guys all have the same accent? Because like, all we the know stuff? it. So now yeah. this is because and then you guys add to each other's conversation. No, no, no. And now we all have to change the accent. No, no, no. This is Why do women do that? You don't speak like us. You don't other. speak like us. <laughs> you speak so well. You speak so well. The ladies' accents today, why do women do that? It's not that deep. It's it's really accents deep. are not that, not that deep. deep. It's just silliness. It's just being really silly. <laughs> For me, it's 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 my inner rich white girl. Like, you know? Literally just ragging each other yeah. all, you know? <laughs> it's really beautiful. Oh my God. My mother's gonna be finished. Yeah, my mother's yeah. not gonna come. So how's single life, babe? Come on! <laughs>Yeah, th this journey for me was 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 very eye opening. And they call her Mrs. Jones. No, 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 Mama. Mama Jones. Mama Jeezy. They try to make it cute. Grieving a sibling is is not given the gravitas that someone goes through, you know. And I guess grief is the price we pay to have loved, right? Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. Mm. So we we wanted to immortalize your love for them. What did you do? And their love <laughs> for you. No wait. Wait, I'm not ready. What not did you ready. do? Pause. What did you guys do? What are do? you doing? No. No. Oh. Oh. Damn. Guys. Wow. Oh, my word. Oh, oh you guys. Just that. send me this picture. Like, well, you posted it. <laughs> <laughs> and you posted that one. That I is nailed it. Beautiful. That is oh, so it's a great beautiful. picture. Aww. It's so funny, like we have the same poses in like all our pictures together. We all <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> You're just like, you're my brother. He's like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> you're like, oh you're man, thank you. So you. You're welcome. So That's much. beautiful. Thanks so much. It's really beautiful. Oh my God, my mother's gonna finish. Yeah, yeah, my mom's not gonna cope. Yeah, we just really oh. wanted to make it meaningful. And we know we know what it means, and we just wanted this to be the stellar moment for the both of you. Thank so you. thank you for allowing us. Ooh. The cherry on top with the, with the paintings. Yeah. With the paintings. Like, that just that blew my mind. It really did. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. She's going to kill me when we're off camera, by the way. I'm not holding Yeah, and his favorite beer was Stella. <laughs> and he's and literally it's been spilling all day. And she's like, he's probably saying, Do you think you're gonna drink it now? Do you think you're gonna drink it now? He was like, let me just make my pebbles felt. He, More he, felt. And the, the funny thing is he introduced Minnie to Stella and then she got me on to Stella. So it was, it was our drink. It's a full circle it was. Moment. Oh, guys. Just to look cute. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so Minnie, this is then for you. Nostalgic about roast lamb or roast pork. Yes. So this is 48 hours sous vide pork neck with glue vine, roasted with apples and wild sage. Oh, that is beautiful. Well, it's not just for you. Oh, but... damn. <laughs> then Melanie, uh, for you, <gasps> curry and roti, oh, but buttered curry, oh. buttered roti with sweet and sticky curry chicken. sticky chicken. Oh, that sounds Christmas so flavored, nice. Christmas yeah. flavored. Ooh. One needs to have Christmas ravioli, which is with sweet pumpkin pancetta, cranberries Ooh. and parmesan. And Mel, we heard what? you're a bacon fan too. This one, I'm Asian, you can never have too much smile. The salad, we have Ooh. goat's cheese, watercress, orange, Ooh. and a spicy date dressing, mm. which like makes it spicy. quite... Yeah. I love bougie food. Then, I love bougie uh, food. The final touch is the glazed carrots, Ooh. Christmas glazed carrots with mm. Cape Malay butter. Thank you very Put much. It. Yeah, Enjoy it. Nice. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Yeah, bon appetit. Oh. So how's single life, babe? Come on! <laughs> Mel, my number is always three.
Bold of you to assume I'm single. <laughs> Ooh. If you ever see a man on my page, you must know it's an ad and it's paid for. <laughs> That you put that way. Hilarious. You put that way. I'm just saying. You know, as a kid, you're always like, if her husband steps aside, baby, you know it's Mel. It's Mel. Mel, you did something to change my character. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing for another human being to be able to influence how another human being responds to humanity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you did that to me. Mel's demeanor is scarily calm. Why does everyone sound scary? The best thing about you, though, is like she doesn't mince her words. Like oh, yeah. she just she just says it. So Mel's Mel's very scary sometimes if you don't know her. You changed my character about ten years ago, and she was like, "Babe, the Scorpio cross that thing of yours. It doesn't matter like what point you have to make. The moment you raise your voice, you've lost the battle. You've lost already. the battle. Finished. Finished. <laughs> You're like I've been doing this all wrong my whole life." Do you see what you're doing there? I'm just gonna walk away. And also what you taught me as well is that it's it's not about being right or wrong. It's about how you make people feel, which is a lesson my mom tells me all the all time. All the time. It's not about being right or wrong, it's about how you make people feel. Yeah. My, 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 well, I call him my mentor, but he's the chair of my board, he's a good man. You always Andy like, Andy Lakuma. Oh. He's always like, boy, do you want to win or do you want to be right? Yeah. Think about it. And I'm like, I want to win. He's like, so why are you arguing? Wrong answer. Why are you arguing? That's the right answer. The right answer is, do you want to win? Or do you want to be right? Do you want to be right? Oh, so you want to win. OK. I want to yes. win. All right. I want to win. He's like, so why are you arguing? Don't argue. Let, let them be right. Yeah. yeah. Let them be right. It's fine. But you win. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. The one thing we know the universe does not give us more of. Wishing you an infinity of blessings in 2022. And we thank you for being you. We need you to be you so that we can be us. So thank you for being these beacons of hope, these pioneers, these fearless, powerful energies that have inspired us for years and for years to come. Oh. From tonight's episode, what I've taken about females in the industry and the limelight and the life they live is that we need to remember they're human. Um, and this thing of that's the price of fame, tonight I affirm that it's not the price of fame. Like, everybody's human. Just because I'm famous or I'm in the limelight, doesn't mean I don't have feelings. And I think we need to respect the females in our industry a lot more. Oh, it was beautiful. It was so, so special it's on so many levels. Um, to be made the most amazing food um, by Jono and Alex, like, wow. You know, remember we said earlier the yep, food. That's uh, what we were waiting for. I think for me, um, what I would wish you, and it's really a continuation, I think, of what you're doing now is just continued success and joy. I just wish for you to be um, happier than you've ever been, to love the way that you want to love and be loved the way you want to be loved. And um, to just live out all your biggest hopes and dreams because I feel like if there's ever a time for you to do it, it's now. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! I love you. Oh. <laughs> What a refreshing time I've had in a festive get-together in the life artois. It's always great to have mindful conversations with wonderful people. And we all know hosting starts with a Stella in the life artois. Raise the moment with this amazing Stella Artois hosting kit. And to win, all you have to do is follow us on Twitter. Our handle is Stella Artois ZA. And to find out how to win, just follow the hashtag festive get together. Being present is the best present, and there's no better gift than a Stella Artois. Let's join again next time. Let's connect, and let's be mindful of the fact that it all starts with a Stella. Broadcast live.